Hey guys, I'm back with a review of Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I just finished reading this. It's his first novel, published by uh, Division of Simon & Schuster. Now the category for this is adult fiction, but I'll be honest, it is nothing of an uh, overtly adult nature, nothing inappropriate that this book would be perfect for um, readers of YA Paranormal. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's a short novel. It's only about 239 pages, pretty quick read. And it's one of the most unique books I have come across in a long time. Now, I first became aware of this book from Holly on the Bookgasmic channel. And I'll put a link to her uh, YouTube channel down below. I think I mentioned about her uh, channel when I did this on a book haul. But this is a zombie romance, something you've probably not heard before. And it's also uniquely told from the point of view of the zombie. So I'm going to start off by reading a little bit of the back of the book. R, it's the initial R, is having a no-life crisis. He is a zombie. He has no memories, no identity, and no pulse, but he is a little different from his fellow dead. He may occasionally eat people, but he'd rather be riding abandoned airport escalators, listening to Sinatra in the cozy 747 he calls home, or collecting souvenirs from the ruins of civilization. And then he meets a girl. First is his captive, then his reluctant guest. Julie is a blast of living color in ours gray landscape, and something inside him begins to bloom. He doesn't want to eat this girl, although she looks delicious. He wants to protect her. But their unlikely bond will cause ripples they can't imagine, and their hopeless world won't change without a fight. R is a really interesting character, not kind of how you typically picture the rambling, grunting zombie. He does have some limited speech, usually about no more than five syllables. Um, the book is predominantly, besides the dialogue between, um, the limited dialogue between the characters, um, it's mostly told from his point of view in, in his thoughts. So I'm going to read the first paragraph to give you an example here. Uh, I am dead, but it's not so bad. I've learned to live with it. I'm sorry I can't properly introduce myself, but I don't have a name anymore. Hardly any of us do. We lose them like car keys, forget them like anniversaries. Mine might have started with an R, but that's all I have now. It's funny because back when I was alive, I was always forgetting other people's names. My friend M says the irony of being a zombie is that everything is funny, but you can't smile because your lips have rotted off. Uh, so it's, there's some quirky humor in it, obviously, um, but it's best described here by the Seattle Times as gruesomely yet poetic. The language it's told in is very poetic in style. Um, there's not a lot of, you know, overt action throughout the book. It's just more um, a story of how our kind of rediscovers his humanity, even while the humans around them seem to be losing theirs. Uh, it's a very well-developed world in this book. Uh, the humans um, are kind of isolated in little pockets. One particular group where Julie's from lives in a, a giant stadium, uh, armed guards. Uh, they're not experiencing life anymore because of their fear and, of what's outside, the dead and everything. In this world, um, some sort of plague has taken place, and that's how the dead started. Uh, it's passed on uh, through the vicious bite of another zombie, or once someone dies, they'll raise up, rise up from the grave unless their brain is destroyed. That's the only way to kill a zombie. Um, in this particular story, um, R and his friend M and some of the other zombies are on a hunting uh, party. They're going out for food, and they come across a group of young people that are also out like on a savage, salvage run looking for supplies and food for the, for the humans, and the zombies attack. And R pounces on this one young man named Perry and eats his brain. Uh, when he does this, he absorbs the memories and feelings of everything that Perry has experienced. And one of those is the love he had for a young girl named Julie. And when R kind of comes back to his senses, he sees the girl cowering in front of him as these other zombies are about ready to attack her. And he instantly uh, jumps to her safety and protects her and brings her back to the airport. And thus this um, odd relationship between the two uh, continues throughout the book. And like I said, it, it, it's it's a very well developed world. The characters, um, I like Julie. She's an interesting character. She has an interesting backstory. Uh, R is just fantastic, a fantastic character. Um, I, I loved every minute of this book. I just thought it was the most unique thing I've come across. Um, the beginning of every chapter is kind of cool. It has like uh, images from Grey's Anatomy. A little bit gruesome, but you see uh, <laughs> little bits and pieces of, uh, of people. But it was just something I had not I had not expected. Um, very unique story, very well written. Like I said, not a lot of action, but I never felt it was slow or boring at any time. It was very interesting to see 
this development and this reawakening of this humanity. And um, just thought it was fabulous. I gave this a five out of five stars. Um, like I said, it'll appeal to uh, fans of YA. You won't you won't be disappointed in this book. I, I can't wait to see what he comes up with next. I hope it's something along the same lines. Uh, looking forward to reading it. I'm sure um, you'll enjoy this one. Be sure to pick it up. It's out on the shelves right now. Thanks for watching.